Approximately 14 billion years ago, a mystery lies in the annals of time. A mystery of which we have no knowledge whatsoever about what happened before that time. Over the past five decades, the Voyager 1 probe has made an amazing journey through the space, continuously providing us with a wealth of information and discoveries. Recently, Voyager 1 directed its camera back toward Earth, capturing an image that could be described as a unique snapshot of our planet, which appeared as a tiny pale blue dot in the middle of the vast space. The magnitude of the discovery initially seemed incredible, but scientists have thoroughly examined the data and confirmed its authenticity. At this time, Voyager 1 has transmitted even more disconcerting information, backed up even by renowned physicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, by detecting the presence of 830 celestial objects moving through space. What are these more than 800 objects? Recently, Voyager 1 has made a surprising discovery. It is currently at a distance of more than 14.5 billion miles from Earth and has detected 830 unidentified objects as it travels through space. These objects are completely new and unknown to us, defying our previous expectations. One possible explanation for this unexpected discovery could be related to the aging of the spacecraft component. Voyager 1 began its journey in 1977, which means that its electronic systems are more than 45 years old. Under normal circumstances, hardware this old would be expected to show signs of wear and tear or even fail. However, Voyager 1 has been remarkably resilient, in part because of its redundant computer systems, which consists of two sets of computer components. The situation proved highly unusual and qualified as an anomaly because the signal manifested itself abruptly and unexpectedly, presenting a puzzling challenge to the investigation. Although the anomaly caused a slight delay in communication, the Voyager 1 spacecraft continued to respond to instructions from mission control, and the spacecraft antenna continued to be pointed toward Earth to ensure reception and execution of commands. Interestingly, the anomaly did not activate the protective systems designed to put the spacecraft into a safe mode, as it is often the case in irregular situations. Voyager 1 continued its activities and did not enter a protective deactivation state, adding to the complexity of the mystery. After a thorough investigation, the anomaly was traced back to an older control subsystem that was responsible for orientating the spacecraft. The subsystem had been inadvertently transmitting data through the onboard computer resulting in data corruption. The question remained, were there really more than 800 objects out there? Confirmation of the discoveries was delayed due to the considerable distance between Voyager 1 and the Earth which caused communication delays. Ultimately, the solution to this mystery involved redirecting the telemetry data to the computer system, which was accomplished successfully and with minimal risk. Investigating this anomaly proved challenging due to the extensive communication delays generated by the great distance between Voyager 1 and the Earth. The spacecraft is now located about 14.6 billion kilometers from Earth. The radio signal takes a long time to travel back and forth, resulting in a noticeable communication delay. This delay represented a major challenge for the mission team. Carrying out their task required careful planning, issuing commands with caution, and the patience to wait a long time before receiving a confirmation from Voyager 1. This communication process, although limited by distance, had the potential to unlock the secrets of space and deep detected objects. NASA's Deep Space Network, or DSN, through the transmission of commands at the speed of light, plays an essential role in this communication process. This global network is composed of large radio antennas strategically located around the world to establish crucial connections with the spacecraft exploring our solar system and beyond. The DSN facilitates two-way communication between Earth and deep space exploration missions. In addition to conducting radar and radio astronomy observations to enrich our knowledge of space, this collaborative effort involves multiple space agencies including the deep space networks of nations such as the Soviet Union, China, India, Japan, and the European Space Agency's tracking system. Together, these agencies work cooperatively to explore and investigate the enigmas of space. The DSN operates through the three-time space communication facilities located approximately 120 degrees apart. These facilities are located in Goldstone, California, Madrid, Spain, and Canberra, Australia. 
This strategic positioning ensures extensive coverage and observation of spacecraft as they travel through space. The Space Enigma relies on NASA's infrastructure to maintain crucial connections to Earth. The network in question consists of three ground stations on our planet, each of which is equipped with an imposing 30-meter diameter antenna. The specialized antenna plays an essential role in communication with Voyager 1, allowing the transmission and reception of radio waves particularly those directed toward Earth. Voyager 1 generally uses Channel 18 of Deep Space Network to send critical data back to Earth. These frequencies used in these transmissions are typically 2.3 GHz and 8.4 GHz for data. In situations where direct communication with Earth is not possible, transmission signals from Earth to Voyager are sent at 2.1 GHz. Voyager 1 is equipped with a digital system capable of storing about 67 megabytes of data. This data can be transmitted when communication is re-established. Scientists can analyze the data recorded during this period of malfunctioning, which could be crucial in determining whether the involvement of extraterrestrial beings, such as possible alien contact, is a plausible explanation for any anomalies. However, Voyager 1 is not limited to communication alone, it also carries with it a suit of instruments designed to gather exceptional information. These instruments are essential components of the spacecraft's altitude and orientation control subsystem, responsible for maintaining spacecraft stability and ensuring the radio antenna remains orientated towards Earth. Among these instruments is the Cosmic Ray Subsystem, which measures the intensity and property of cosmic rays, providing valuable data about space beyond the Sun's influence. Alongside the subsystem is the Magnometer, a precision instrument dedicated to the meticulously analysis of the strength and orientation of the magnetic fields found in the vast reaches of space. The photocolorimeter observes light and contributes to our knowledge of space dust and other elements in space. A plasma science instrument helps study charged particles called plasma, providing information about their density, temperature, and velocity. All of these instruments on Voyager 1 are crucial to increasing our understanding of space and its potential for detecting signs of extraterrestrial life. In addition, Voyager 1 is equipped with a high-gain antenna that sends information back to Earth, making a significant contribution to obtaining important data. Both Voyager 1 and its companion, Voyager 2, made a significant discovery in 1993 when they found the heliopause, the boundary between the Sun's solar wind and interstellar space. This provided us with information about where our solar system ends and interstellar space begins. Both probes also made important discoveries by exploring planets such as Jupiter and Saturn, revealing essential data about these enormous spheres and their moons. In addition, Voyager 1 made the astonishing discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon, an impressive sight spewing lava hundreds of kilometers into the air. These findings show the dynamics of space in a surprising way. Ultimately, these probes will provide a wealth of information about our solar system, including detailed images and valuable data about the planets and their moons. In addition, the data collected by Voyager 1 have generated particular excitement because of the possibility that signs of extraterrestrial life may have been found. Scientists are analyzing this data in search of answers that will shed light on this exciting discovery. What do you think? Let us know in the comments box. If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.